Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to derive this formula over here. It's actually the mean value of two sets of data. That's what it's related to. Let's begin by saying x1, which is a data set, has the values p and q in it. Now, as there are two values in this set of data, n1 is going to be equal to 2. Now let's create our second set of data. Let's call it x2. Let's put the values y, z, and r in it. Now, as there are three values in this set of data, n2 is going to be equal to 3. Now, what is the mean of this set of data over here. It's actually going to be the sum of x1, which is a data set, over n1, okay? And this is going to be the mean of the data set x1. This means that n1 multiplied by the mean of the data set x1 is equal to the sum of the data set x1. Now likewise, n2 multiplied by the mean of the data set x2 is going to be equal to the sum of the data set x2. Now what is this value though? What is the sum of the data set x1? Well, it is actually p plus q, okay? What is the sum of the data set x2? It is actually y plus z plus r, okay? Now, the combined mean, right, of both of these sets of data is going to be equal to p plus q, plus, let's just go up here, y plus z plus r over 2 plus 3, right? Because there are two values in this set of data, p and q, and there are three values in this set of data, y, z, and r. So this is going to be the mean of both sets of data combined. But p plus q is actually equal to n1 multiplied by the mean of the data set x1. And y plus z plus r is actually equal to n2 multiplied by the mean of the data set x2. And 2 is actually equal to n1, and 3 is actually equal to n2. And this is how we can derive this formula over here to find the mean of two sets of data which have been combined. If you have any questions concerning this video, please leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching.